Banksy. So, um, what's the issue that you come up against when you speak to people about Banksy and they say, oh, I've never thought of that? Well, basically, um, I talk to people about, you know, um, the Banksy murals and that, and nobody seems to ever kind of like, seems to be able to compute the fact that I object to Banksy, not because I think his art is rubbish or because I don't think he's got anything worthwhile to say, but I object to the fact that he takes away my choice or society's choice to be asked, do we want that on that wall? Or whoever owns that wall, you know, he doesn't care about that. He just goes out and does whatever he's got to do for his own selfishness. And I find that really offensive. OK, let's come up with a practical example and make it as personal as possible. Let's say... I write in black, I find the darker coloured pebbles and some lighter coloured pebbles and I write a very political message in dark coloured pebbles on a white, on lighter coloured pebbles background on the beach one day. Well, I mean, I suppose in one respect that is something that is... I find that a hard one because the pebbles would be there anyway. The pebbles belong on the beach. But your, your, saying, your saying rude words. Art, <laughs> your, 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 your idea of art um, is only utilising what is already there to, to make something different from what is there. You've never had a go at a kid for making a sandcastle on the beach, have you, saying, I didn't give you permission to build that here? No, but the thing is, the sand the sand belongs on the beach. And the pebbles and do too. it's not permanent. But like, it belongs in a flat way. I like flat, smooth sand. Sorry, I'm, I'm not quite being truthful. I like sandcastles. But, um, you know, to me, it's like, well... We are in Tesco's Honington at the cafe, by the way. If anyone's watching the series of videos, this fits straight after the one whereby we're dissing Tesco's. What, 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 what I'm, what and Banksy I'm, discs, disses Tesco's what, on the seafront. What I'm trying to say is that um, the way society has gone today, nobody seems to actually stop and think about what they're doing you know if they've got something that they want to do they just go out and do it and it's not the fact that Banksy hasn't got anything valid to say I actually thought that the mural he painted um, in Hastings St Leonard's the, let's be accurate yeah, criticising Tesco's but um, you know I actually thought that and Sandcastles was he criticising Sandcastles too <laughs> I mean I actually thought that the message I perceived that he was trying to pass on from that mural I thought it was actually quite good you know the actual but, but it, you, you wanted him a, to knock around on, you, on your door wearing but, his balaclava mm, first asking permission from you and everyone individually no, but, how could he have done that and still produce his art no, but, 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 what I'm saying is, is that there are other mediums I mean like for example well, I've got my just own posted... YouTube channel I mean is I that the only place where we view. can put I mean, our graffiti yeah, but, no, but I, I am being interviewed keep, keep low down don't say any higher I'm being interviewed here on camera Right. Yep. Everyone can see who I am. I'm standing up for my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying what I'm saying about Banksy in full view of everybody on YouTube land. Everyone knows who I am. Everyone knows what I'm saying. Tony May, yeah, Maybrick 44. Because I believe in what I'm saying, I'm prepared to stand or fall by my opinions. I know that people are going to give me grief. I know not everyone's going to agree with what I've got to say, but I'm not a coward. I stand up Banksy for what is I've a got coward. to say. Banksy is a coward. He's just someone who wants to be more productive than you can be by having all the conversations about will you approve this. So he does it under cover of dark. Perhaps but there's the a squad is, of Banksy's. If you're a real hero, if you're a real champion of the society, then then stand up and be counted for what you've got to say. Okay. Don't, I mean, so so to hang me, on. Let's, let's say I've got something planned that's a little bit subversive and is putting art in a public place. I mean, I've got something to stick underneath the No to Jerwood posters, for example, because um, I want to know what these people stand for rather than just what they stand against, people who say No to Jerwood. So let's say I start fly-posting underneath all the No to Jerwood gallery posters. Um, you have more respect for me than you do for Banksy if I say, I'm the one who did the fly-posting, now come and get me. Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying I shouldn't I even... I still think you're wrong to do the flyer posting, but, yeah, I've got, I, I would have more respect for you for saying, well, it was me that did it, because by doing that, you're actually... You're taking responsibility that that was your opinion, that that was your choice to do that, and 
by doing that, you're actually challenging other people to respond to what you did. You're not actually kind of intimidating people, you're challenging them to respond. Okay. So in effect, you're, you're actually passing the ball back over the net. But I'm what, wanting to what, get a conversation. I mean, what I hate about the Jerwood situation, yeah, is when people think the Jerwood question is yes or no. For me, the Jerwood question is, what have we learned about community development from this? And the answer to that begins with, we've learned that a lot of people are pissed off by something that a few people push ahead with. Mm -hmm. The same goes for the peer. The question about the peer isn't yes or no to a new peer or anything. It's, you know, there's been an incredible incident that catalyzed yeah. um, the community. It was a shared experience of quite some depth. Now, something, a lot of things could be done with, with, a, with the wreck of a peer and with what it meant about the state of our community. But what have we learned about community development from the peer collectively? Very little, if anything. That's always my question I'm going to come back to in Hastings and St Leonard's time and time again. With every incident that happens, what are we learning about empowering ourselves as a community and living the values that we care deeply about? Or are we just bouncing off for something and against something and not really getting anywhere in terms of learning how to live from a deep ethical basis? The trouble is you're always going to have fours and against, aren't you? Yeah, but the conversation um, could be made richer. So what would, so what, you know, there's a lot more to be said about the Jewelwood Gallery than for and against. Some people were saying, well, this is a quick, the phrase that I love the most is, this is a kiss me quick town. This is not a place for the, for the aristocracy to come and look at their art. This is where the fishermen have been. You've put it in the wrong place. Go and put it in St. Leonard's or somewhere further west than here. So that's beginning to open up a conversation. Who says this is a kiss me quick town? Maybe if it was, why should it always be a kiss me quick town? And what is your concern about people who may speak posher or have more money than you who come in from elsewhere? We need to unfold all of those and, for example, then create a strategy that makes sure that, that goods and houses are cheaper for people in Hastings than for incomers or something like that or make sure that no one profits from, um, from property. I've put up a non-exploitation plan for Hastings and St. Leonard's so that those people who can sign up to say I'm not going to profit from, the, from buying property in here, I will sign a deed that makes sure I don't profit from buying property in here, it means they get a 20% discount in all the local stores. That is the kind of, and I want to even talk to Asda, I probably won't talk to Tesco's about that, that is the kind of discussion about community development that needs to unfold, in my opinion, rather than just a yes, no, I'm for the Jerwood. What are you in, uh, what are you in favour of? And how do we protect what's valuable in the community? Those are the conversations I came down to Hastings and Lance to have, and I'm glad you have them with me, Tony, but sadly a lot of other people don't. Uh, well, a lot of people don't like being challenged, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't want to... And as I say, at the end of the day, um, whatever the subject matter you're talking about, I always say to people, I don't argue with anybody, I discuss. Mm. Yep. I'm not saying anything that I'm saying on here and saying, oh, I'm 100% right, you know, you've got to listen to what I've got to say. I'm not doing that. What I'm doing is I am challenging everyone else to think about what I'm saying because I feel strongly about the things that I'm talking about. And at the end of the day, to me, the difference between being a hero and being the man that scrawled balls on the walls mm -hmm. is the fact that the hero stands up for, and says, I did that, and what, what you know, I did that. I did that. I want to be that? a hero. I did that. No, but what I'm saying is okay. the real hero would stand up and say, that was mine. I take responsibility for that. What is your response to that? But, but Banksy doesn't do that. He, okay. he just, he just, we'll see whether... He just splodges we'll and then he's gone. <laughs> Will Krull.